baby bus. Aesop's Fables, The Wolf and the Sheep The annual prairie sheep picnic had begun. The little lamb was happy to be attending for the first time. My name is Little Lamb. I love to work. Washing the vegetables is great, great, great. Hey, hey! The little lamb took a big basket of fruits and vegetables to the river and began washing them. As the little lamb was happily washing the vegetables, a big gray wolf leapt out from behind a stone. He was gray all over and had a huge tail, like a big mop dragging along the ground. The weather is great today. I've come down the mountain to seek some prey. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at that fat little lamb! <laughs> Just as my stomach was starting to growl. The big gray wolf's tail swished and stood straight up. Wow! <laughs> this old wolf will finally have a good meal today. Saying this, the big wolf stretched out his sharp claws and started to pounce. But just as he raised his two front legs, he stopped. He fell back to the grass. Oh, no, wait. I heard there's a prairie sheep picnic today. There must be many sheep there. I can't beat them all. Hmm, let me think of a plan. The big gray wolf's eyes turned round and round, and his tail wagged back and forth. Finally, he came up with a plan. He crept very near the little lamb. Then with his tail held high, he pretended to take a drink of water. Yuck! This water is so dirty! Hey, little lamb, you've made the water dirty with all the soil from your fruits and vegetables. I wanted to drink water, and I got a mouthful of soil. You've left me with no water to drink. Now I'll have to eat you. Humph! The little lamb was busily washing a cabbage. Hearing the ruckus, he looked up. The big wolf was staring at him with huge, bulging eyes. The little lamb was frightened. He stammered. But, 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 Mr. Wolf, sir, the water flows from you to me. How could I have made the water you're drinking dirty? Uh, uh, uh that's, uh... That's, um... The wolf hadn't thought of this. His forehead began to sweat, and he mumbled inwardly. Oh my, this little lamb is so smart. Looks like I'll have to come up with another plan. He rolled his eyes here and there, and swished his tail back and forth. And finally, he came up with an idea. He tilted his neck, pointed his nose, and eyes at the sky, and... Uh, achoo! The big gray wolf let out a huge sneeze. Oh, oh, look at me sneezing on a sunny day. Someone must be saying bad things about me behind my back. The big gray wolf rubbed his nose, pointing at the little lamb. He asked, Hey you, little lamb. Were you talking bad about me? What? Mr. Wolf, I, I didn't, really. Humph, you didn't? I heard you've been saying bad things about me since last year. You said my tail was as messy as a mop, and you said my voice was as loud and ugly as a horn. It's your fault I'm sneezing. But, Mr. Wolf... You must be mistaken. I wasn't born yet last year, so how could I have said anything bad about you then? Eh, that's... If it wasn't you, it must have been your mommy or daddy. When the big gray wolf was challenged by the little lamb again and didn't quite know what to say, he started to show his true colors. Look, it doesn't matter. I'm a wolf. You're a little lamb. I'm going to eat you now. The big gray wolf stretched out its sharp black claws and lunged at the little lamb. Clack! The wolf's claws met something hard. Then, 
a pair of curved sheep horns slammed him into a huge rock. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> you want to eat my little lamb? It was Daddy's sheep. He raised a hammer-sized hoof and slammed it into the wolf. The ground began to shake, and a huge crowd of sheep ran over and surrounded the wolf. You, you want, want to eat, eat our, our prairie, prairie sheep, sheep, do you? you? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, I, uh, I was just playing with the little lamb. <laughs> I've got other things to do, so, uh, uh, so uh, I should be going now. <laughs> Bye. The big gray wolf couldn't stand up against so many sheep, so he ran away with his tail between his legs.